Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we had discussed about the uh, data source interface which belongs to the javax.sql package. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to take connection from MySQL data source which is the one of the implementer of uh, data source interface which belongs to the Java javax.sql package. Right? So here, basically, uh, this project already I have been created in previous video tutorial uh, there I have shown you how to uh, take connection from database using uh, property resource so that is just replica of uh, this project is just replica of that project only so here basically I have a client program and there just uh, I have created a connection by calling this get connection method and creating a statement just I have prepare a sql query select a start from employee table and i have created a result set just i am iterating result set and just printing uh, every record on the console so this is the client program and db util and get all database information i have kept in this properties file and like driver name database url username and password and that i have kept in the src folder itself and i have a utility program this is dbutil there i have declared all constant basically these are the key and for this value exists in the uh, this uh, properties file so basically and here in dbutil basically i have used uh, properties class to load uh, this property file right uh, now uh, we are just trying to load the driver manager so this line is optional from jdk 1.6 onwards so if you delete this line is still this code is going to work and we have taken connection from the driver manager by calling get connection method right so in this video tutorial i'll show you how to take connection from uh, uh, mysql data source so mysql data source is one of the implementer of uh, data source right so here i don't require this connection object so what instead of get connection i will make a method is called data source and return type of this method would be data source itself and this data source import i will do from the javax.sql package and here there there are some changes in this code so driver we don't need to load explicitly so that i am removing and here on the top of this class i am going to de declare a static variable it's called sorry uh, my sql data source so and this belongs to the package let's say data source this belongs to the package it's called you can see this package right and basically this class belongs to the uh, your mysql connector jar right so this is pointing somewhere in this jar right so this belongs to the this jar so make sure that you have added this jar in your class path now come back over here and here basically i'm going to create an instance of this mysql data source so this class is having a default constructor so we can create a class uh, we can create an object of it now let's call a setter method let's set database url and let's say db url right now you cannot this will give you the key only and value for this key is available on the data source so you will have to use like this okay now similarly we can set for username database username so set sorry set user user and we can set username just i'm copying from this previous code now again data source dot uh, username right username sorry username already is, uh, we have set it so set password and we can set password as well db password from here so 
we are done and I'm going to remove this code snippet okay so this data source basically and this exception we need to remove now okay so now this guy is going to return this data source which is getting created in the static block right and client program is now throwing an error saying that there is no anymore this method available in this db util so here what method we have a get data source now right so get data source and we'll call get connection method right and this way we can take connection now to run this application uh now press ctrl shift o for organize import now this driver manager not anymore needed so i'm going to remove now to run this application we required uh, uh, jdbc pool db this is a schema and this table to be created and we just we are going to insert few records in this table so let's copy this entire db script and go to here and the mysql workbench and just i'm pasting over here and let's run this db script and let's refresh it and this uh, schema has been created you can see the table is also created and this table is having now three records all three records we have inserted now let's run this application and see whether we get the output or not so we are getting an exception let's see what is that saying that unknown uh, jd what is database so database uh, in db script we have a database name this here let's replace this database okay same by mistake we have given the semicolon so that was an error now let's run it now it's running perfectly fine right means we have taken connection from the data source right using my mysql data source this is the one of the implementer of uh, data source right so i hope you enjoyed learning this video and uh, in uh, uh, here you can see when you call get connection method if you call get connection method and there is two overloaded right in previous video tutorial we have talked so there is one connection method which does not take any parameter right but second get connection method which takes username and password so how we can we, we can make use of the second method so here while creating the data source in a static block if you do not set username and password if you do not set username and password then these things directly you can set over here right so your username is let's say uh, we have a router name is root and password is also root so sorry so this will also this this way also you can take connection from database right and this is working perfectly fine right so i hope how to make use of these two overloaded method so i'm going to undo these things and what I had commented over here, I'm going to undo. Alright, and let's run once more and see if it's working perfectly fine or not. I hope you understood how we can take connection from MySQL data source. That is the one of the implementer of uh, data source. And if you go to the API, right? So this is the official website of MySQL data source so here you can see the java doc and this java doc says a lot of getters and setters method are there right so you can set different type of property while creating the data source object while creating this data source object there are a lot of setter and getter methods are there so using those setter methods you can set a lot of properties right uh, as per your requirement uh, you can go through this setter methods and uh, try uh, feel free to explore this api and you can set i mean appropriate properties as per your uh, requirement right so that's all i have in this video tutorial so i hope you understood how to take connection using data source in next video we are going to look how to create connection pool using 
Apache DVCP. So thanks for watching this video and this code I am going to upload on the GitHub and GitHub location I will specify in the video description itself. So thanks.